Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, M.2 solid state drive, memory modules, RJ45 bracket, USB C bracket, wireless LAN module, wireless WAN module if installed, fan, and heatsink. Important! Make careful note of the routing of all cables connected to the system board for later replacement. Removal. Disconnect the following cables from the system board. Hard drive cable. Fingerprint reader cable. Backlight cable. Touchpad cable. SD card reader cable and tape. Keyboard cable. Display panel cable. Speaker cable. DC in power connector cable. Disconnect the power button ribbon cable from the USB board. Peel back the adhesive sheet that secures the power button ribbon cable to the top cover. Remove the five P00 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Lift the system board up off of its alignment pins and remove. Replacement. Note, if you are installing a new system board, remove the power button ribbon cable from the old system board and connect it to the underside of the new system board. Place the system board onto its alignment pins on the top cover. Caution. To avoid damage, ensure that all cables are free from being pinched between the system board and top cover. Replace the five P00 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Reconnect the following cables to the system board. DC in power cable. Speaker cable. Display panel cable. Keyboard cable. SD card reader cable and tape. Touchpad cable. Backlight cable. Fingerprint reader cable. Hard drive cable. Reconnect the power button ribbon cable to the USB board. Press down firmly on the adhesive sheet to secure the ribbon cable to the top cover. Thanks for watching. Please click subscribe for more videos and weekly updates.